Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode. Well, of well, it's one of our one-offs, actually. Uh, this is another thing that I've gotten uh, in my email. I get uh, some different survivalist slash camping and whatnot type of emails, and uh, you know, a lot of times they'll send you some good information, and a lot of times they also send you some of that stuff where they want you to buy something. Uh, so. I've got one that is uh, from TRS, and as you can see here, it says TRS Survival. In the uh, email, it is considered a survival kit, uh, and uh, this is essentially what it looks like. Uh, now, in the pictures, it does look a little bit bigger. It looks more like a, uh, if you know what Altoids are or something like that, it looks more like an Altoids can. Uh, rather than something quite this small. We'll get into that in just a second. I'm going to show you a couple other things that did come in the um, packaging. Uh, one of them is, of course, their little card here, and they're showing you some additional things they can try and sell you and whatnot. Uh, and then if you want to get a discount, well, here we go. You've got the web address right there and the QR code if you guys are able to look at it. And uh, that's 25% off. So I just kind of shared that with you if you want to try and get something from them. Uh, the other thing is, is as you can see here, Survival uh, Fishing Secrets. And uh, obviously DVD. Uh, yeah, I haven't, haven't opened that yet. But uh, so that's where this is obviously going to be focusing. Um, the way I put it across, I thought it was a little more universal. Uh, when I when I saw it or the way they put it across in the email seemed like it was a little more universal it did say stuff about fishing but it made it sound like it was a little bit more of a universal thing uh, so let's see if we can pop this open which there we go okay so it pops in I guess okay so that's the that's the top uh, and we've got a few things here well we've got a bunch of things here uh, and stuff wrapped in tape. So we've got something under here. Let's go ahead and peel that out. See what it is. We'll try to do this quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to show you real quick first thing first because I want to try and put this all back together when I'm done. Um, you've got these little screw ins. So you've got these little screw eyes and you've got these little brackets and things. Um, those can, of course, be used for different things. The screw eyes, if you're making like big wooden lures, for example, those would be good to, of course, attach your line to. So there's one option right there, or one one kind of thing to go with. Um, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull this out. So we've got a uh, obviously a bobby pin and uh, or safety pin. Safety pin, I guess, is technically what this would be. Uh, and then we've got two different kinds of line. We've got the the nylon type of line right there and then it looks like we've got some braided line there and those are just wrapped around a piece of foam the foam well actually the foam can be used as a bobber uh, so actually everything right here can be used um, for fishing uh, the next thing we've got is take this stuff out a little bit at a time okay so we've got some this is some hemp uh, type of uh, thread it looks like as well as What's in there, if you can, t you probably can't tell very well, but that's actually uh, steel wool. So uh, you can see that fairly, fairly well. I'm not sure how well this will focus in on it, but um, yeah, just a piece of steel wool. Steel wool can be used for a few different things. Um, maybe not so much on the fishing thing, but it can be used. Uh, for example, if you have a nine volt battery, you can use steel wool hit the 9-volt battery to the steel wool, it'll light it up and it'll get you a fire started. So that could be used at least for uh, maybe for uh, starting the fire that you're going to use to cook your fish. Uh, then we've got a few more things here. Now, try to get a few things out at a time. Now we've got, as you can see, a piece of cork here. And we've got some already done uh, fly uh, flies. So you've got this little black one with the uh, yellow striping on it. Uh, that one's that one's actually pretty cool. Then we've got a, just a simple white tuft right there, um, which I've seen little flies like that floating around sometimes. This one looks sort of more like a, it has the shape of like a, well a larva of some type, like a maggot, if uh, if you want to call it that. Uh, but it's brown or almost black. Uh, and then it's got some of that coloring underneath. 
Uh, then we've got a few, uh, we've got three just very small hooks right there. As you can see, I don't even know if I can squeak that out of there. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen really easy. Let's try this. Um, so let's see if we can sneak those out of there. Now, obviously, the cork can be used as a bobber. Oh, it's a treble hook. That's what it is. So we've got one treble hook right there. If you can kind of see that. So, and then it just, they just pushed it down into the cork. Uh, now, of course, again, the cork, oh, we've got two because we got one on the other side there as well. So there we go there. Uh, not, not bad idea, actually. That's, uh, that's not bad. Um, very small, obviously, but uh, in survival situation, you, you'll eat large, small, whatever you can get your hands on, obviously. Let's see. So now we've got, okay, so we've got some swivels, it looks like, in here. Obviously, this is just electrical tape holding this together. Uh, try not to undo it too much because we want to see. Okay, and then we've got some little little lead weights. You can see those there. Uh, and those are just those little squeeze-on ones. And, uh, yeah, there's a few. You can see a few more at the top there. And uh, I'm not going to continue opening that because I think that's everything that's in it are these uh, swivels. Now, these could be snap swivels. Um, so they could have the snap on the other end. I'm guessing they are seeing as how the whole swivel is hanging out right here and it's still caught inside. So, uh, you've got a handful of little lead sinkers as well as, uh, or lead weights. And you've got a handful of, it looks like three of them of these, uh, snap swivels. So there we go. And then now here we go. This, uh, this is a little better. You can see just by the uh, very end here. Very simply enough, those are going to be some hooks. So we've got some bigger hooks here. Um, and uh, if you can kind of see the imprint right there, those are definitely much bigger than the ones that are on the uh, on the cork there. So there's that. And we've got this other one right here. Oh, okay. That was really cool. I didn't realize this something like this was going to be in there. This is a ferrosium rod. So a little fire starter stick, you're going to scrape off this black part on the outside, just kind of helps to keep it from oxidizing and whatnot. Uh, but you scratch that off a little bit till you start seeing it silver, and then you hit it with basically any kind of metal that's strong enough to, sh to uh, scrape this off. So if you have a knife, uh, you can use a knife, you can use a piece of, um, of a saw blade, uh, which actually those work really well if you use like a... Uh, uh, if you keep like a little broken piece of, uh, of a, uh, I guess a metal saw, uh, which essentially that's what they gave you right here. So there you go. This is just a hacksaw blade, essentially, and just a small piece of hacksaw blade. Really good to make shavings off of that. Um, you got a toothpick. Well, toothpick can be used inside that cork so that you have a slip bobber. So there's a good thing there for that. Um, if you need to, obviously, you can use this to burn something. Uh, and then we've got one other piece, and I am trying to see. Uh, oh, okay. So this is uh, a simple, as what it, what I can tell, this looks like a very simple razor blade um, that you could you could actually take it and I think the, the shape of it, as you can see here, uh, there like a surgical blade. So this looks like the handle part. And then there's the blade up here. Um, I don't really want to take it out of the package, but you can see the shape right there. And uh, this part would kind of push into like a little wooden handle, take some, uh, maybe some of the twine, wrap it around the handle. And so now this is what you can use to actually process the fish. Um, that you do catch. So cut them apart, um, you know, clean them out, whatever. So not a bad little kit. Um, wasn't real expensive. I mean, I, their things are, their things are generally pretty cheap because they're, you know, trial and whatnot kind of stuff. Uh, but if you guys want to check this out and, uh, again, also, you know, don't forget they did give you this. So kind of help you out as to how to use some of these things if you're not sure yourself. Uh, but if you want to check it out, I'm going to have uh, links to it uh, floating around here. They're mostly going to be down there in the description below. You'll uh, 
see why you're down there looking at the link. If you're going to follow it, there's the links to my social media. And uh, there's also that PayPal link if you'd like to help me out. Uh, definitely appreciate that for the channel. All right, so this was uh, another one for the Camping and Survival series as well as kind of a one-off. Uh, and that will, of course, do it for me today, guys. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.